Do's and don'ts, eyeshadow edition over 40. We may have been taught differently in the 90s, 70s, 80s, so I'm gonna try to right some of those wrongs, okay? Let's go. So don't take your color, your lightest color, and just put it everywhere. This creates kind of a flat and dusty situation, okay? Do take an eye base, put a little on, especially in the inner corner. This is a Trish McAvoy eye base essential. Super popular, doesn't move. And do gently with your ring finger, blend it into the lid. And make sure you're nice and bright. I could use a tiny dot more right there. So this is refreshed and that is uh, tired and dusty. Again, now let's do the crease. Don't. Take your middle tone and just go right into the crease, okay? Because guess what? Oh, it's like the magic disappearing color. Where'd it go? <laughs> our crease is falling, so our sh uh, eyeshadow is gone. It's hidden behind the curtains, all right? Do take it in more of what I like to call a sunset. Go in that crease bone and lift. We're lifting, think of a sunset and a lift. Lifted, oh, where to go? It's like, where's Waldo? Don't always leave a really white lid. It doesn't always make us look more awake. Do take a little bit of a color, and I love a brush like this. This is the one sweep brush because I'm kind of lazy and I can just go like this and do my eyes really like in one sweep. See? So that gives a little bit of a softer and if you wanted to deepen the lid a little bit, that's a okay. Don't try to create drama by using the old school V that somebody taught us somewhere in the 80s or 90s, okay? This. Hmm. Don't. Do place in the corner and kind of roll and lift. Lift up and lift out. Happy eye. She's kind of sad. Don't put your shimmer shadow by going all over. Do take a little bit on your middle or ring finger and gently pat in the middle to get a little bit of light and maybe the inner corner, not all over.